never, I never know how to start these things. I have no idea. I'm Cade. And I'm Emily. And today we're going to show you our new favorite tent. So this is our new tent. It's a little bit bigger than the car. We bought it mainly because um, it looked cool. Also, it supposedly holds 10 people inside of it. We have yet to test that. Another reason we bought it is mainly because it has a built-in light and supposedly sets up in two minutes. Let's test that. Three minutes, I mean, that works, I guess. Mainly because I'm an idiot and I can't set up a tent. Let me preface this by saying I'm very lazy and I hate tents because of how long it takes to set up. Mainly because of all those snap poles that I either break or end up pinching myself with. But one thing I loved about this tent is they're already attached. I don't have to do any pinching or pulling. <laughs> But everything's already connected, so you just pull out the four corners, and then you follow that by pulling up the two side pieces, and within like 30 seconds, it's already standing, especially if Cade's not helping. <laughs> this tent is 10 feet wide, 14 feet long, 70 inches wide. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 78 inches high. If you're measuring all that, bigger than our living room, minus the height, but the fact that I can stand and get dressed in a tent is probably the best thing ever, and walking around not having to go like this and getting scoliosis the entire trip, it's, it works, it's good. The room divider is great for having multiple people in a tent. If you have like two parties, two couples, you can separate it with that. But what we actually end up doing is putting all of our stuff in the back of the tent, like our beds and our clothes and stuff like that. And then in the front of the tent, we put more storage area. So like the table, we had some bins with food in them. Her rocking chair actually. So she just kind of hung out up there while I got everything set up in our room and it's nice. Okay, so one of the main reasons we bought this tent was for this guy actually right here and you can plug in their included battery pack which is just a USB it goes in just like this then slides into this pocket right here it zips up then that powers this full LED track light across here and it has three modes on it yes uh, regular high power mode for your brightest setting you have a mid after that and then also a night light as well the nice thing about this being powered by USB is that if you have an extra battery pack laying around or whatever, you can plug that directly into this and run the power off of that instead. Another thing I want to point out is how many doors are in this thing and windows. So just to count, we have one window here on the side, another window here, a third window there, a massive window here that folds down. And when it comes to doors, we have our main entrance here, which is just for coming in and out just on a normal day. And also this massive gear door here. It also doubles as another window uh, for getting mattresses and things inside. This tent comes with a rain fly, which makes it equipped for pretty much any weather. When it comes to insulation, obviously sleeping bags are important, but we only really tested it in sunny weather, although it was chilly. Yeah. Um, but blocking the wind, and as soon as the sun came out in the morning, it kept all the heat in all day long. It also comes with a one year warranty, which hopefully we don't have to use, but it just kind of adds a little bit of peace of mind to your purchase. If you want to be extra safe, especially with the tent bottom, we bought a really nice tarp that goes underneath it, and I'm pretty sure we won't ever have a problem. I'd recommend this tent for pretty much anyone, unless you're like a single person by yourself, unless you want no, a are ton you of room. Glamping, come on. Uh, just for us three, it was perfect for just multiple days if you wanted to, having as much gear as you wanted and not having to worry about where to put it. The built-in light actually made it really nice, just kind of walk in, click a button, and then the entire place is lit up like we wanted it to be. And then we added extra light with the lanterns. Uh, overall, super happy with it. We have to make sure we get Val's unf unfiltered and honest thoughts. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Wait, give me a second. Are you gonna wake up? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, that's something. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a like for Val, honestly. 
Um, I know that's kind of baiting, but I don't care at all whatsoever. She deserves it. Um, and we'll see you next week.